by Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So just another quick update regarding one or two new features that Microsoft is currently testing in Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version. And because I do know a lot of you use the Edge web browser, um, I do like to post these videos um, on a regular basis as to possible features uh, that could make their way down to up and coming stable versions of the browser. Now, the first of two small but maybe significant features uh, for some of you um, that we're going to look at today. Um, if we just head over to a video in regards to the first new feature, I posted this video about a year ago. And I said the Microsoft Edge sidebar gets new Gmail, YouTube quick actions and playback controls on Hover. And if we just look at the video where I paused it at the relevant timestamp, here we can see in the sidebar, if we um, hover over the YouTube a button and a productivity tool in the sidebar if there's a video playing in the background we got this hover function this quick action where you could control that media with the different media control um, functionality now just to let you know um, because that was back in edge canary 106 and now in edge canary version 117 as mentioned which is the latest preview and uh, microsoft has once again started testing the quick actions feature in the edge sidebar now, I haven't received this feature because, as you all know, Microsoft does push out new features to different regions at specific time uh, intervals and time frames. But if we look at um, the screenshots provided by um, Leo over on X, this will give us a good idea. And as you can see, um, you will be able to perform different actions like compose an email or create a new Word document. So over and above, being available for YouTube and some other um, media playback um, options in the sidebar. Um, that quick action now available, which I think is a nice handy improvement, where, as mentioned, um, you could um, compose an email or create a new Word document without actually opening up that feature in the uh, sidebar. You can just hover over, and as you can see, you can click on those quick actions, which, if you are using that, um, um, those options and those um, productivity tools on a regular basis may be a nice move. Then moving on to the next, and this is also a small feature, which I haven't received, but nonetheless um, could be a significant feature for some of you, where um, some of the themes, as we can see, available in the Edge add-on store are now appearing on the appearance page. So here we get some of those themes previously only available in the add-on store, now being made available on the appearance page, um, which if you are using different themes to customize your browser, may be another nice move in the right direction. And where this will all take place, just to put that all into perspective and context, if we head to the appearance page, although I haven't received um, those Edge add-ons for the different themes, it'll appear around about here on the um, appearance page, which, as mentioned, may be a nice move if you are using different themes in the browser. So that's just highlighting two little features that Microsoft is testing once again in Edge Canary. And as many of you will know, Microsoft does um, roll out these brand new features to Edge Canary almost on a daily basis. That's why in some cases the browser uh, receives almost two updates um, in a 24-hour period. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.